Hello, and welcome to another video. You know me as Phoenix, and today, we're not starting my episode at my base. And, oh, I'm so glad I put the 32x textures back on after, like, it was just five episodes, but, yeah, I'm just here, and the, in the nether hub being beautifully redesigned, munching on some steak, the newest addition to my texture pack. I designed that myself, I'm pretty proud of it. I also added the rose quartz pack, and I made it more subtle. Like, rose quartz, it's there. If I go over here and open up a box of quartz, you can s clearly see the pink tinge, but it's a lot more subtle. So, yeah. But uh, that's, all the, that's all the more I'm going to be talking about that. Today, we're going to be working, hopefully, hopefully, on two different farms. First off, I'm going to head over to Belt Fed Joe's and work on his... A uh, la, 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 la. what's it called? Gold farm. Ow! It bit me. <laughs> I'm gonna be working on his gold farm and fixing it up a bit, trying to make it better because in the in oh I forgot that was black too. Uh, but in in when other people are on, sometimes the pigmen won't like they won't stay aggressive towards you. And I was watching a video by Asuma because I'm doing like a, a Hermitcraft, Asuma's Hermitcraft like binge watch basically, and I'm just watching from season one to season six now. And I was watching a video where he built the gold farm and he put chests around where you AFK. And the pigmen did the same thing that the pigmen do in this in this gold farm. They stopped being aggressive and he took the chests away and it was perfectly fine. Uh, so I'm gonna be going up here to this gold farm and there's um, Joe added a mechanism, not a mechanism, it's basically just a thing that it there's cacti in the gold farm for the magma cubes to kill the magma cubes. Well basically I'm just gonna get rid of those and see if the pigmen can stay aggroed at the player while other people are on because he said it works perfectly fine when there's when no one else is on but that that it needs to be better than that it needs to work when other people are on i will get back to him but yeah i'm thinking that when you're afking up here like the the glass shouldn't block it but the anvils and the trap doors i don't think they might but the cactus the cactus i think are stopping the vision of the pigmen so without aggroing a pigman pigmen I am going to go out there, basically just remove the cactus, then test the farm, and there's other people on, so it's perfect, and see how well it works. I didn't bring any snowballs, and so unless there's some in here, I'm going to have to go and pick some up. Yeah. But, um, another thing is, it's just, like, the way that this one is built, there are going to be blocks in the way, but they should still be able to see you. Like, if anything, you could, like open that to get them aggroed or remove the anvils. I might have to talk to Joe about doing that. But these ones should be fine. It's these on the outside that need gotten rid of. So, make sure I'm using my silk touch. And I am safe to go out. And I'm just going to mess around with this. Ow, ow, cactus. I'm going to mess around with this. And then I will show you the results when I get back and when I get to this finished. So now, I just need to test this, and I have my trident. Don't kill it. Okay, so now the pigmen are... Aggro. Well, I'm gonna shoot them with my... Looks like I have to use my trident. You suck. I suck. Oh, there they go, they're not, they're done lagging. Okay. Well, now, I'm just gonna sit here and test this for a while. And see how long this lasts. <laughs> I think that's it. I think there's other people in the nether, so they're taking up the spot. Oh, oh, there's a guy. There's a couple of guys. There's a, there's a couple of guys. Are they coming after me? No, they're not. Can they not see me? I don't want to go out there. 
<laughs> okay, I don't understand now. I thought I figured that- I thought I had this figured out. I honestly did. I thought I figured this out with removing the cactus. Well, it's too dangerous for me to go out there, so the sand and cactus is in there, Joe. I might mess around and try and a couple other things, but I think there's too many people on for me to- or, I don't know. But- I want to get this other farm built because I'm really excited. Sorry I couldn't fix this. I really thought I could, but I'm not I'm not being lazy and not working on it, but I kind of am. Uh anyway, I'm just going to go back to spawn and not die, but take a faster way down. Oh my gosh, I thought I was going to die. Anyway, I'm going to head not back to spawn. I'm going to head back to my base, and then go get materials together, and then go to where the farm is being built, and I might hop in a... Okay then. I might hop in a testing world and show you what we're going to be building, because I'm pretty, exci pretty excited for this. And, yeah. I'm here. You might already know where I am, based on my surroundings. We're at a zombie spawner, and... J JW, which he's on right now, he was kind enough to help me find this, and I'm going to be turning it into a drowned farm, and I'm going to be going on to my redstone testing world to show you the design that we're going to be using, but it is on three trippins property, So, but I got permission from him, but we need to dig out the area that can spawn the zombies, and then we have to filter them. But the only thing is, is we're at y equals 15. So we're going to be going close to the bedrock. I forgot a beacon, but I don't really care. I'm going to go to my testing world. I'm going to figure out all the dimensions. And then basically, I'm just going to do it from memory. Because it's just, it filters them into one spot. And then it filters them into a larger area that just goes into a row where you can kill them. I'm also going to need to make a better sword. Or a different sword than Flame's Point because... Uh, I want smite. I want a smite sword for the wither and for this farm. And so yeah, I'm just gonna hop onto my testing world and I I will. Oh wait, huh? The cobblestone textures line up and they tile, but the co cobblestone and mossy cobblestone textures don't. Interesting. <laughs> So here we are in my redstone testing world, and you can hear some of what's going on behind the scenes. But if I just grab this test sword, and if I go here and get the zombie spawn egg, and sorry, but I just want my music turned down. And if I go in here, and I just spawn, I, you can just see how it works. And if I just go in here, and spawn a bunch of zombies, also going to turn down hostile creatures, and yeah, it's it's the it's a basic idea. The zombies get drawn down here, and then they get turned into drowned because they're submerged in water. And then when you kill them, you can get when they spawn from the spawner, they can sometimes drop armor, which you can um, put in the super smelter and get iron nuggets and gold nuggets. And you can also get gold and a lot of rotten flesh. I'm going to filter out the rotten flesh and just chuck it away. Because I don't see a use for it. But basically, we're doing this for on the server, drown, or mobs drop heads. Oh no, I don't want that. I forgot I'm not in survival. Drowns drop heads, so we're doing it for the drowned heads and the gold. And I guess for like the, the metal. Oh, there, there it is. There it is. It's going on. It's going on. And then the reason I want to smite sword, this is what I'm going to be getting. I'm going to smite five, sweeping edge three, looting three, and mending, because then you can just go like this, and you two-shot the drowned. And then the sweeping edge just gets, so you can get, aw, oh, your baby zombie with the arm. And what this is over down here is it goes back and forth, it's always going back and forth, and then once it has items in it, see how it has, it has items, so it locks this, or it turns that off, and you've probably seen them before until all the items are out of it. And yeah, so this is what we're going to be building, except I want you to be able to AFK down here and activate the spawner. So basically, this whole design has to go whoop and get pushed right back up. So, or pushed up. 
But this door is in here because I made it so you'd be AFKing down here. And it's also a decent source of XP. But when you're, you can just like pull this lever and what would happen is the zombies would go through, they'd pour or come out of that door. But when you're killing off Drowned, you don't want any more zombies so you can get gold and such. So you turn that off so no zombies will pour back in or come through. So I think it's a pretty clever design. Um, like I said, this is whole thing, like in here you can see how this works. It just is a big old spawn area like any other spawner farm that you see nowadays or any days but this was the old afk spot and it's not worth it to put so this is safe to be bumped up by quite a lot and that's what this is what we're going to be building but with a lot of tweaks and i'm going to build a whole i don't want that we're going to be building like a whole storage system that would go like this way and like you just have all the drops sorted and yeah we're going to be doing that but see that stops the zombies like i was saying but I'm going to get materials together and I'm going to build this on the server. So instead of going the whole way back to my base to gather materials, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mine out what I can here, which is just one layer. And it's four blocks in every direction and then I mined... There's a creeper there. Creepy boy. Death. Yes. And it's just two blocks in every direction, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to place blocks there so I'm not seen. And it's four blocks in every direction, like I was saying. And then it's five blocks down. That's what I had it. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but, or if there's any, like, specific that you should have. But I'm going to mine this out. And then I think I'm just going to mine this out and then put the water in and then I'm going to start the whole like building process and I will show you progress eventually. So once again, I'm in the same situation that I was with the turtle farm and I asked JW for help and he came and he basically just he, he built the entire thing. But the collection system is going to be different. And what I'm going to do is I want to be able to see into the farm to see how it's doing. So, I'm going to add... Whoa, wait, how'd you get here? You shouldn't be there. But I want to add a window here. But, light. This, this room is going to be lit up. So, what I need to do is I need to add, like, a redstone. I'm going to add pistons up here and pistons down here. And I'm going to, like, there's going to be a button... Oh, didn't want to press that. There's going to be a button over here that I press it. And then, like, pistons push up, or push down glass, and then it's just going to be, like, it's going to do that. It's going to push down glass, and then I press it again, and it pushes up. Um, so I'm going to need an RS nor latch. It's going to push up blocks so all the light gets blocked out. I'm also going to add another button that when you press it, it, um, it turns on lights in there so you can disable the spawner, rather than the door that I did have, I was going to figure out how I could wire it up there clo to close a door. But now I just have to work this out. I don't want a 3x3 three three killing chamber, so I'm going to line this up. And I need to go up there, actually, because this needs to go... I'm going to mine this a few blocks back. I still need to make a few, twe a few tweaks. I need to... Um, make or, or design the room, and that's not going to help me, because this is an infinite water source. Crap. Okay, so that doesn't matter. I'm just going to, um, those are half slabs, so those won't water log. Those will water log, not get rid of the water. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to work on this. I just got rid of the stone. I'm going to mine out the area that I want. And then I will be back with you when I, like, design and dig out the rest of the room. So, this is the basis of the room. And if you watch, you already know this because we, um, there is the .5 episode that will, I will put a link to that video in the description of this video. If you want to see it, it will be released probably on the same day, um, but a little bit later. So, you might be watching this and it's not out yet, but it will be out. 
Um, we, in that little clip, I just was with Sloth, and he made these banners for me, and I'm going to put, like, I think I might move Phoenix over here, or I could do it on the wall, I could do Phoenix Drowned Spawner. Uh, I'm also going to make a way to turn this on and off, that was also discussed, I'm going to put dispensers up here, and then it can be a zombie, a zombie killer, if you want a zombie spawner for some reason but this is going to be for the drops like this is going to be for rotten flesh this is going to be for gold and this is going to be for everything else like armor and everything these were i'm going to color coordinate them like i'm probably going to make this like red and then this is this is going to be um yellow obviously and they're going to be like color coordinated to be what they're in so i'm going to take these out but i might make the system storage system in a separate episode because i have more plans for this one that I might not have time for because I am recording this the day before and I only have a few hours left to record this but yeah I need to work on this so I might color coordinate these and then I'm gonna get the materials together to decorate the rest of this room and then I'm going to um, show you what I did there and then I'm going to put a cap I'm gonna put another layer of something there and then I'm gonna put a cap and that there's going to be an ice strip, but we will work on the redstone for this um, room in the next episode. So like the storage system and the window, which I figured out I'm going to need double piston extenders and all that fancy stuff. So yeah, I this is just temporary. I will like probably end up moving everything into their respective chests. And then in not next episode, unless I have time but the episode after that. So we're going to be on this project for a few episodes. But this there's going to be a tunnel going from here the whole way to my base and I'm going to connect it up somehow. Probably through the main dome. I will put like a tunnel entrance thing and it will go down or into the ocean and then it will lead over here so you can walk. And I might put another portal over here just for convenience if you don't want to walk. But like I said, I'm going to color code these and then hold on, move, move there. I'm gonna color code these. I'm gonna get the materials together to decorate the rest of the room. I don't know if I'm gonna do it like this, but I do like this for the for the um, storage system. But then I now we'll be back, and I'm probably going to have the shulkers in there and the, some of the room design to show you. But yeah, I'll be right back. So I know I said that I would be getting materials, and then I would show you what um. What I'm going to be building, or like what my idea is. But the truth is, is the, the room's done. I got the room finished, and now I have some shulker boxes with materials to, um, to put away. But I'm not going to do that right now. This is just like the remainder of the stuff, like the ice, and the, there's packed ice and some chest, chests. Oh, I turned off my texture pack la or language because I was talking to Sloth about it, something. But ice can go in there. And yeah, the room's done. I will show it to you in a little bit, but I need to put some stuff away. I'm going to clean out these, clear out these shulker boxes, and then I need to make a sword. I have a sword here. It's going to have smite 5, sweeping edge 3, mending, looting three and now all i need is unbreaking three and i'm striking up a deal with i'm not striking up a deal with dart anymore because he doesn't have one anymore so i'm gonna put the rest of this away and then i am going to go back to the room and there's yeah i'm gonna go back to the room and i'll show you what, what it looks like well here it is as promised here's the room and i really like it the nether portal is going to go over here, and then on this side, I'm going to have a 3x3 three three tunnel going from here. It's going to go this way, up, and a glass tube go that way to my base. Um, this is the storage system, and I have, like, this is the temporary, but I sorted out. This is just from testing. This is how much we got from testing the thing, not actually, like, putting it to a lot of use. And this is a problem we're going to have to solve. Now, all of this... We can smelt, like the iron and gold and chainmail, we can smelt and get iron and gold nuggets. And the same with the tools. But the leather, I don't know. I can't just, like, sort out the leather. But, yeah, this is what the room's looking like. I really love the gold. 
And I think it's really fitting because you can get gold, and I, that's what I thought about. I was like, I want something to go in there, and I don't want to use like pillar, a pillar, just a regular pillar of some sort. I want to do something. I didn't mean to do that. Something that was like representative. And in here, no, I'm not going to be this narcissistic, but um, and just put my name. I'm going to put Phoenix over here, and then I'm drowned spawner. And then these lanterns, or lanterns, stop. 1.14 we're still in 13 um, lamps are gonna turn on and I'm gonna have them all turn on not in any specific pattern but this is so you can turn the farm on and off and that's gonna be useful because in here this this window part I think I've explained this in another clip up here there's gonna be double piston extenders that push windows down so you can see into the farm and actually see Phoenix drown spawner or there'd be no point in the banners being there so um, eventually, I'm going to put the redstone in, not this episode, but one thing that I do want to get finished is the items, and this, this banner is a project that me and Sloth are working on, that's not the final project, or product, I don't think, but I do want to get the sorters, it shouldn't be that hard, just put them down, item elevator, which is really easy because of 1.13's water physics, and then you just bring them over, across into item sorters and then you sort these two whatever's left goes in here which will just be the unsortables so yeah which is like also includes like heads and stuff which is why i built this in the first place just to get drowned heads and gold but i'm before i ramble out too long like i say all the time i am just going to build this is just going to be open like this i'm going to turn this off in the next clip i will show you like how it all works and then in the next clip i'll show you the sorter and how the farm itself works this is dangerous but not as dangerous as other spawners because zombies aren't that bad to deal with now a flaw with this that can't be fixed is one zombie will always be there like most of the time he will be there because there's no water to push him through so once more start to spawn then that that's not really an issue this is crazy like crazy efficient it's there's nothing that i did special but i'm gonna get the sorters done and then once more filter through he picked up the torch one more once more filter through in the net or in the time that i'm building the sorter i will show you how this farm works and i also need to finish the ceiling don't know what i'm gonna do i might just take this and take uh, i don't have any with me of course I don't, but take just like spruce and just go across and carry it across and then do the same over here and yeah, I'm going to get the nether portal hooked up so it's easy transport back and forth, but yeah, I'm going to get that figured out and I'll be back. So you know, since I'm not very good at redstone, well I'd like to think I'm good, but I can't even remember how to make an item sorter system, so... Uh, Trip is out here helping me, and he's good at his red stonery, and we're, he's just basically just building them because, you know, I can't do anything for myself anymore. <laughs> I, I, this farm was practically built by someone else, but one thing that I did do is, hey, come on, there you go, and you go too, because you don't die in this so yeah the lights work you can see it's all lit up and I'm pretty sure it stops spawning but if I take this and knock this out then it's really simple it stops all the lights so yeah that's all that's there and I'd figure it I'd update you rather than let you know when it's done we thought we were gonna run into an issue because I um, powered these with redstone blocks and then it's right where the hoppers need to be. So, but Trip got levers, and he's a smart guy. So, <laughs> all I need to figure out now is this just needs to go out and under. This doesn't need to go there. Out and under, and then a water elevator back there, over here, and then yeah, that's about it. Um, I I'll get the items that I need in there eventually. I'm gonna rename a bunch of stone probably. I have an XP an XP farm and an anvil right here. So 
that's that's about it for the update. I will let you know when I'm when this is completely done. So this episode was very choppy, and I'm sorry about that. But this system works. All of the items need to stop clicking with my uh, axe. Oh great! Now I have to replace. Oh crap! Now I have to replace the lever because that's what we had to do to get these powered because the to power these I needed levers and the levers couldn't be on the back because they would lock the ho lock the hoppers I didn't think it'd be an issue but now this completely works now about all of this over here to deal with it we pick out all of the iron and gold stuff that's in here and then we can come through the portal so excuse me there is no room over here and then we can just open the, I might need to uh, clear a block the blocks out from on top of the chests for this to work but then if I replace that and that and put that there I can open them and then we can pour put these in you're not the chainmail I don't know why but yeah then all of these will smelt it's not the most efficient design but they'll smelt into gold and iron nuggets and that's convenient because then it just saves space here and the leather armor I don't know what to do with there's really nothing I can do with it but I don't know if the chain armor can be smelted so we're just not gonna do anything with it it's gonna stay in there just like the leather but that's the end of this project almost this turns on and off and if I turn this off I get a bit of a lag spike because of all the light updates but then zombies pour through I can go like this turn the back on I still haven't done the banners yet but I will and I want to apologize while we're waiting for these guys to come through and drown I want to apologize for this episode being really late this project took a lot longer than I thought it would and I wasn't able to release it on the day on the Saturday I think this was supposed to go out no this is supposed to come out on Monday I want to apologize because I didn't get it out on time I need to be more efficient with my time and that's that's all that's to it and this is gonna be a lot because it's that those will add up but yeah so that's about it I'm gonna wait for these guys to drown unless they do it now and then, well, I could just show you. And then I have this. It, I think I showed this to you, you guys, to this. This to you guys. It just has Smite 5, Looting, Mending, Sweeping Edge. So, and then I can just go like this. And then I can two-shot any un or any of the zombies or drowned that are in there. And we'll get armor and head from both zombies and drowned. We'll get gold and a lot of rotten flesh. Yeah, so there's a lot of stuff behind the scenes. Not that big of a deal. Uh, this guy stays in here. This is like a community thing for the business venture that I'm going to be a part of and I'm going to be putting together. But, wow, that's actually decently quick to smell. Okay. Yeah, that's it for me this episode. Sorry if this was a little bit longer. I had a, a lot of run over with clips. And I don't have enough for iron, so that can just be put there. Yeah, that's it for me. Oh, I changed my skin a little bit. Um, the shirt... The shirt is the same. Or, is red now. And I have blue, icy hair, and a scarf. I thought the scarf was really cute. And, yeah. So, that's it for me. No. That's it. I know what that was. Baby zombies don't go th like to go through the system, and they drown in this in there. But anyway, that's it for me today. This episode, and I will see you guys next time. But first, leave a like on the video if you did like it. Let me know down in the comments section anything that you want to see in the series. Um, yeah, Patreon link in the description if you want to support me. Twitter link in the description if you want to get better more reliable what's it called and i know there's a couple more viewers of this channel so 
couple more new viewers. So spread the word, and yeah, that's about it. Still all awkward with this whole outro thing. So I will see you guys next time. Bye bye. Oh, by the way, I think the verdict is going to be I'm going to use the new Jappa textures because I love as my whoa look at my sword it's like all all wiggly I don't know if YouTube is or the video is picking that up but it's like all wiggly because of the particles that's weird but anyway I'm gonna use the new Jappa textures for this and every other series on my channel is gonna be using this texture pack but this series casual craft is gonna use the new Jappa textures so I thought I'd let you guys know that and now I'm actually signing off bye bye